Happy Monday, Scholars. Welcome back to Mr. Brandon's writing lesson. Scholars, we have a really exciting week this week. We're going to be talking about superheroes. Woo! That's going to be exciting. So, Scholars, can you think of your favorite superhero? All right, so have some ideas in your mind. We're going to practice writing about it later on. But first, we have to announce our winners from the competition last week. All right, it's going to be exciting. So, Scholars, the competition was... Uh, I wanted you guys to get on Lexia and Zern, and wh whomever had the most minutes from last week gets featured in one of my YouTube videos this week. All right, so now it's time to make the announcement. So I'm going to announce one winner from Howard University and ASU. And first grade, I will announce your winners tomorrow, so stay tuned. All right, so the winner from Howard is going to be... January! Yeah, January, go girl! Alrighty, awesome job, January. Um, the next winner from ASU is going to be Wesley! Yeah, Wesley! Awesome job, dude. Alrighty. So, Scholars, the reason they won is because they had the most Lexia and Zern minutes last week. So, Scholars, if you want to hear your name featured on one of my writing lesson videos, make sure that you're on Lexia and Zern. So, Scholars, again, we're going to announce the winners from first grade tomorrow, so stay tuned. But now it's time to talk about our topic of the day, which is superheroes. Scholars, today we're going to practice writing about our favorite superheroes. But first, let's get our supplies out. Just like superheroes have their supplies, we need to get our supplies out so we can get ready to write about them. All right, so Scholars, I'm going to have you pause your videos in a second to get your pencils and papers out. But first, I want to give you a hint as to who my favorite superhero is. So you're going to find out later in the video who my favorite superhero is. So here's your hint. Hey, have you seen where I parked my Batmobile? I can't find it. Go ahead and get your supplies out, and we will figure out who that superhero is in a little bit. All right, welcome back, scholars. We are fully equipped now and ready to start writing about our superheroes. So first, actually, let's get our brains warmed up a little bit. So just like superheroes warm up before they go out and fight crime, we're going to warm our brains up. In this next activity, I'm going to give you a prompt. So kindergarten, your prompt is going to be on the screen here in just a second. So you're going to pause, and I want you to copy the sentence that you see on the screen. And first grade, I'm going to also give you a sentence, but it's not going to be correct. So I want you to edit the sentence and make sure it's correct for me. And I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Did you guys pick up on the hint there? All right. So Mr. Brandon's favorite superhero is afraid of bats. That's what your sentence said. So let's practice uh, editing that now. So kindergarten, you just copied that sentence. But first grade, you have to edit it. So First grade, we need to start off with a capital set or a capital letter to start our sentence. So we didn't we need to have a capital M in our sentence. And also my name needs to be capitalized. So we have a capital B in that sentence. And then Mr. Brandon's favorite superhero is 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 not spelled correctly, so is is I S. And Mr. Brandon's favorite superhero is afraid of 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 is not spelled correctly so we need to spell that of and then the last word is bats and bats only has one t and as always scholars make sure we have correct punctuation so make sure there's a period at the end of the sentence all right awesome job so here are the here's the correct way that sentence should have be should have been written All right, scholars, so we are officially nice and warmed up, and we have our supplies ready, so we are ready to write about superheroes and fighting crime. So let's do it. First, let's watch a video so that we can learn about what we're going to write about. So scholars, in a second, I'm going to put up the video link, and you're going to pause it and click on the link below, okay? So pause the video and click on the link below, watch the video, and let's come back and discuss it. Welcome back, scholars. So we just got done watching a video about superheroes. Did you see your favorite superhero in that video? I know I didn't. Hmm, so who is my favorite superhero? So scholars, let's discuss that video. In the video, Supergirl was bored. And what lesson did she learn about being bored? 
when she discussed it with Wolverine. So she discussed it with Wolverine, and Wolverine gave her some advice. You're always going to be bored in activities if you go into it thinking that you're going to be bored. So if you go into an activity thinking that you're going to be f having fun, then it'll be fun. All right, so now we are fully ready to write about superheroes. So, kindergarten, I want you to tell me how Supergirl was feeling. So I'll give you a prompt here in just a second and write out one sentence telling me how Supergirl was feeling. First grade, I want you to tell me how Supergirl was feeling without a prompt, but then go a step further to tell me how she can change the way that she was feeling. All right, answer time. Let's see how you guys did. So kindergarten, Supergirl was feeling bored. You can put that down as your answer. So that'll be your sentence, kindergarten. And first grade, you can also put that down as your first sentence. But the second sentence, how, what can she do to change the way she was feeling? So let's think back to our video to think about how she can change the way she was feeling. Let's think about the conversation she had with Wolverine. So we could put something like Supergirl can choose to have fun. That could be an answer to the question based on evidence from the video. And as always, scholars, make sure that you write using capital letters to start off the sentence and proper punctuation at the end of the sentence. So at the end of the video here, I'll put up the correct writing sentences for you. Now for the grand reveal. Scholars, did you guess who my favorite superhero was? I bet you did. So I gave some pretty good hints there. My favorite superhero is Batman. <laughs> All right, scholars. Well, I had a lot of fun uh, writing about our super our favorite superheroes today, and I'm looking forward to announcing the first grade winners for our competition last week tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Scholars, make sure you're jumping on Lexia and Zern and continue doing an awesome job. You guys are great, and I will see you again for another lesson tomorrow.